वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू द कोर्स ऑन एआई एआई और आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इज वन वन ऑफ द वेरी वेरी ओल्ड ब्रांचेस ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग व्हाई वन शुड लुक एट सच एन ओल्ड सब्जेक्ट समटाइम्स पीपल वुड आस्क व्हाई व्हाट्स न्यू इन इट व्हाई वन शुड स्टडी इनफैक्ट एआई स्टार्टेड एज अ डिसिप्लिन विच कुड मिमिक ह्यूमन बींग काइंड ऑफ अ सिस्टम विच कैन रिप्लेस ह्यूमन इन इन सम एरियाज and probably if you look from that angle ai is not yet successful and in fact some time back there was people started declining ai as their one of their subjects but now there is a resurgence and you probably uh, think why there is research and the resurgence why people would learn ai why why as a student you should take up this subject so let me talk about a few things ai is about like probably you have taken some programming courses you studying in Uh, engineering or mca or or some other uh, computer science or engineering uh, subject and you probably have had the idea about programming you probably know that there are some problems which are not possible to be solved using conventional programming for example uh, suppose you want to do some image processing and figure out uh, let me take an analogy suppose you meet a you meet your friend after 20 years is grown in all dimensions and grown even beard and mustaches and all that but you still be able to recognize him how have you done it can you can you write an image processing program which can do that for you or you are an expert looking at resumes and you you looking at the resumes and shortlisting some of the candidates for the company can you write a computer program to do this for you or you have uh, you you are an hr manager and you have some motivational strategies for a huge company that you working with so 50000 odd employees and you would like to get an optimum uh, motivational strategy now such programs cannot be solved using conventional methods you need to solve them using other methods you probably have looked at some other domains like game playing which are not all that simple that and and in in due course we'll see what are the complexities involved what are the challenges and what are the ways to meet with those challenges so that again is an example of a problem which you cannot address using conventional computing so ai is about solving these problems ai about venturing into in, into spaces which is not yet been very very successful all conventional computing to solve and that's the reason why ai has become a long time back people used to think that ai is a separate discipline and and uh, people would like to uh, do research or something would go for ai but it has not been the case now it has become part of mainstream most of the conventional systems are augmented with ai um, components so and will be actually one of the part of the course is about how you develop such a system in in conventional computing there are subjects like software and engineering and system analysis and design and sometimes object oriented analysis and design now here also we'll be looking at something called expert system design process and our expert system is something which mimics a human expert for example uh, 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 some uh, a program which acts like a doctor would diagnose ask patient a few questions diagnose a disease and suggest medicine or or look at your financial portfolio and suggest uh, uh, where to invest and so on and so forth so there are many many programs which which uh, conventionally you cannot solve uh, they they pose different types of and different uh, complexity uh, level challenges and for that you require a different kind of solution which we call artificial intelligence why we call artificial intelligence probably is very clear to you now because it's it's like to mimic humans with intelligence so people um, when machine exhibit similar characteristic we we call it artificial intelligence but then ai is and this is little uh, actually misnomer in in that in the sense that uh, ai is also trying to solve some problems which do we do not associate intelligence with for example if you pick up a, st- a chalk stick If you're a teacher, you pick up a chalk stick. You do it every now and then, but you need, have never realized the complexities involved in it. Because if you exert little more pressure, the chalk stick would break in your own hands. Or if you if you exert little less pressure than required, then the chalk stick would fall. So such a thing, a mundane job of that type, 
for example brushing your teeth is also a very difficult task if you want a robot to do something like that is is it's very very hard for a robot or or just think of a robot playing uh, a table tennis okay which is a pretty hard thing okay such things are not possible for robots to do even today so seemingly simple thing on table tennis you don't buy if you if you just ask somebody do you require intelligence to play table tennis most of us would not agree that no we don't need okay we 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 believe that is something which can be played by anybody you don't require intelligence for it but then computers cannot do it because it requires something else what else will look at and will look at solutions and uh, of those problems and solving these problems require different methodologies different techniques different ways to store knowledge because unless you have knowledge you cannot infer from it and you cannot do anything please understand for anything to do you require to store some information in conventional systems we have databases where where the information is stored and and we exact uh, get the exact answer searching through the database and getting that the right information so and so forth for example if you if i want uh, if i am running an insurance company and and a customers complain has come to me i would like to get customers data i'll just explore the database and get that information from uh, the customer okay the customer database and and then i'll, I'll proceed further similarly here when a doctor is diagnosing a disease and he he would like to know about patient's history and uh, he would like to provide symptoms and try to get uh, a list of diseases related to those symptoms again he had to search and do it but then the search is quite quite different than uh, how we do it in databases so it is a very different domain okay and and that's the reason why it it is very very important will be looking at game playing how you solve this problems like game playing how knowledge is represented how knowledge is inferred and what are what are the lacunas and there are multiple approaches like what are the lacunas of one approach and why you need to go for the other approach and all that is to be done so all that will be looking at in this particular course not only that we'll be looking at something called machine learning at the end of the course we'll be looking at this very very important emerging discipline which it probably is going to overtake many other disciplines in soon and in, in in very short period of time you probably heard, have heard about angela jolly jolly's case and she learned that she has a probability of having breast cancer with with about 80 87% um, possibility and she went for a surgery now that kind of preventive surgery requires uh, that exact Uh, calculation and all that for based on uh, human genomes and you may not believe but it it's huge job and uh, but that genome mapping when that was done for the first time there were more than 13 countries involved it took around 6 7 years or more maybe i don't exactly remember but the huge uh, project it was when billions of dollars were invested in now people are able to do that thing in 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 a very few days in fact one company in pune could claim that could do it in only 3 days now wh- how are they be able to do it in, because of they they are deploying machine learning algorithms which could solve this problem that pretty fast there is one more discipline which has emerged called big data and there is something else which is associated with it called as um analytics now analytics is about looking at the huge amount of data that is powering in and find out patterns from it and infer something from it for example looking at facebook posts or twitter um tweets uh, you learn how good or bad your product is how people feel about your product how people feel about a particular party whether this party is going to win the next election or not you you can judge looking at those information but the amount of information there is pretty huge not only it is pretty pretty huge it is quite mobile also is coming uh, a lot of uh, types of information is coming daily so the huge influx of the information and is also also uh, comes in in different varieties now dealing with all this information finding out patterns also requires different kind of approach and ai will teach you all that okay so that's the reason why I believe that one should take uh, the course and if you have taken the course I must congratulate you 
and they will, what will you learn out after this um, attending this course uh, many things in fact you will learn about how to represent uh, a problem statement in something called a state space which can enable you to solve that problem otherwise not possible you will learn about neural networks you will learn about genetic algorithms you will learn about uh, 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 solving problems using uh, methods, searching methods, heuristic, you learn about uh, uh, how to represent knowledge, uh, uh, you you'll, you'll learn about expert systems, you learn about machine learning. So the whole thing is there for you. Okay friends, we have total 15 weeks uh, for this course. Uh, out of that we'll have uh, total 1 to 7 weeks uh, for uh, the first phase and then we'll uh, have an exam and discussion forum and all that on the 8th week. Then we will continue again till the 14th week and the 15th week again we will have an exam. Every week there will be a test, Every after every module you will undergo uh, an MCQ will test how well have you grasped that particular part of the course. So that is what our plan is uh, and uh, in the discussion forum you can share your issues with me and I will be more than happy to respond back to those issues um, and all in all is going to be enjoying experience for all of us. With that note, conclude. Thank you.